This video is on the classification of bile duct injuries. In 1982, Bismuth described the classification of bile duct strictures based on the location of the stricture in relation to the hepatic duct confluence. Then later in 1995, Strasberg and his colleagues gave the classification on the bile duct injuries and it described multiple types from A to E. And this type E was actually the bismuth classification of the bile duct strictures. So this classification is also known as the Strasberg bismuth classification. Now I want you to divert your attention towards this drawing over here, which is like a biliary tree. There are many pile ducts and there's a common hepatic duct coming down here. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to teach you over here. So in this classification, the type A is bile leaks from minor ducts, which are still in continuity with the common hepatic duct. So there has been some damage to a minor duct, but it has not been transected or separated from the main ducts. It is still in continuity and it is damaged on the liver side. So there's some bile leak occurring over here. Type B is occlusion of part of the biliary tree. When we do cauterization or ligation or clipping of some tissues and we might sometimes occlude a part of the biliary tree and so that part of the biliary tree may not be able to drain into the bile duct. So that is type B. Now type C is transaction of part of the biliary tree. So there's going to be leak and it's a part of the biliary tree. It is not some leak with continuity. There's no continuity now because it has been transacted. Now type D is lateral injury to an extrahepatic bile duct. Now coming to type E, it is divided into E1, 2, 3, 4, 5, just like the type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of the actual bismuth classification. So now in Strasbourg, it becomes E1, E2, E3, E4, and E5. They are all strictures. E1 is when there is a common hepatic duct or bile duct stricture, which is more than 2 cm distal to the confluence of the right hepatic duct and the left hepatic duct. Now, when this stricture is a bit closer to the confluence, that is less than 2 cm distal to the confluence, it is type E2. It is type E3 when, the, when there is a hyalur stricture with no residual common hepatic duct distal to the confluence, but the hepatic duct confluence is still intact. When there is a hyalur stricture with destruction of the hepatic duct confluence, the confluence is lost the right and left hepatic ducts do not meet now because there's a stricture over there, then that is E4. E5 is a bit separate, it's a bit different, so you try to remember it separately. It is strictures which involve the right aberrant sectoral duct and the common hepatic or the bile duct.